Oh no, breaking news. RTX 3090 pictured. Ah, uh, yes. Um, okay, this comes after leaks were allegedly shown last week. Here, let's throw up my display capture here. RTX. Oh, that's in wait, what? What the crap is does this even mean? Intel CPU covering the GPU die to hide the information. Okay, so this is yeah, allegedly an RTX uh 3090. Oh come on, is it really gonna it's really gonna pop out like that? I mean get tech power up. Gosh darn it, you guys. Uh so anyway, that is wow, look at those three connectors. And like we've seen three pads before, but not um like three actual connectors on a reference board. On a ref yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, the RTX 3090 apparently has a notch right here in the middle of the PCI Express connector, so that's kind of you can you can that's like kind of trippy. probably middle middle click those or or right click view image or something. To... Um. All right. So source one is right. video cards. That's okay. We're gonna fire up video cards. So apparently the RTX 3090 will be a three slot graphics card. Which remember on WAN show when I got real confused about the reference cooler and I like couldn't figure out how it worked. That's yep. part of it. Because <laughs> from what I could tell, it just it didn't make any sense where it was going to be getting air from. So this makes, well, more sense. So the fan that's on the other side of what we're looking at here, okay? So that's this one, and it's going to be blowing out the back panel and then kind of out, I guess, this way. Well, I don't know. I still, I'm still a little confused, actually, because this kind of looks like a divider that would actually block airflow so okay and then this back part here which presumably is connected with like heat pipes or something to the gpu area is blowing here we go right through the card because it's got this like trippy weird shaped pcb here um so there you go apparently that's a finished card it's all black it looks sexy as heck i actually i i, I like it i like it it looks really cool it um, looks it definitely looks very new and different um, yeah. I'm really excited for for those videos when they come out. I yeah, because this is gonna be a really really cool card, <clears throat> really cool card to see people dive through. Yeah. Can I dampen your enthusiasm a little bit here? Do you mind? Is that okay? Sure. Because the okay. leaker already leaked pricing. Um, also, oh, also yeah. leaked pricing. Uh, yeah. So the the leaker <laughs> specifies pricing thusly. Writes Anthony, who put this in the doc for us. RTX 3060, four hundred dollars. Uh, Remember when four hundred dollars was a top tier card, or like four hundred and fifty, five hundred was top tier? RTX yeah. thirty seventy, six hundred dollars. RTX uh, thirty eighty, eight hundred dollars. And I would forgive you for thinking, well, RTX thirty ninety, surely with all these two hundred dollar jumps in price, probably going to be a thousand dollars. RTX thirty ninety, fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh. Oh boy! Take take that! This would, take that, uh, middle income earners. Especially if you want to play flight sim. <laughs> That's uh, rough. I, I think this this would be the time where I I try to evangelize some of the audience onto uh, buying previous generation graphics cards. Yeah, buying secondhand last gen chips. That ain't a bad idea. It's great. Ain't, ain't a bad idea at all. Honestly, I mean, we, we did the Ruthless Economy build earlier uh, this week, I think that video went up and the reality of it is you just, you can't even get close. I think we put a 1070 in there, which conveniently will get you 30 FPS in Flight Simulator 2020 at 1080 high or ultra, excuse me. Uh, we threw a 1070 in there because there just isn't a brand new card you can buy that even gets close to touching that. It's great. Thank you, Mining Craze for Was the- that a ample opportunities to buy old cards for cheap. 